Hi there and welcome back. In this quick tip video I'm going to show you how to layer textures on top of your exi existing materials, like this graffiti texture you see on this render. Let's go to Maya. So I have this small wall and its material with the albedo, normal and roughness maps connected. Doing a render to see where we're starting. What I have so far is just the textures connected, downloaded from the internet as a PBR material. In order to layer a texture on top, we, we will be using the layer RGBA nodes. Let's create one. And connect it to the base color of the shader. Now you want to enable the second layer and drag the previous base color texture to it. For the first layer I am creating a file node as projection, so we have more control placing the texture on our wall. Now connect it to the first layer and let me just copy the path of the graffiti texture. If I do a render it's not looking very promising. That's because we need to place our projection in 3D space. After doing that let's hit render. And we now have some texture showing up. Create another file node as projection for the mask or opacity. After loading the correct texture, I am just deleting the second place 3D texture and use the previous one. This way both textures move when we manipulate them in 3D space. Let's do the same for the place 2D node. Now connect one of the channels of this new projection to the layer 1 mix attribute. This will act as a mask in our layer stack. And if I do a render you can see that it's working properly now. We can even manipulate the placement of the texture in 3D space. Let's disable the repetition in the place to the node and also change the default color to black in our graffiti textures. The next step is optional, but I think in this case it can give us some flexibility. As you see, I have this color correct node in the original network to change the color and contrast of the graffiti. So let's insert a color correct node in the network. And now you can change the hue, saturation and also the contrast. That in this case helps to bring the texture to life, as it was too subtle. I am just going to revert back to the original network, but it's basically the same. As you can see I have this hoodie that we created shaders for in a previous video. In this case it just posed on a wall. Let's do the final render. And this is the final result, if we only add the wall texture it would be pretty boring to look at. Ok, that's all I have for you today. Let me know if this helps and if you enjoyed it and also what kind of content I should bring to the channel. See you next time.